Okay, my name is Christian Jortland and I'm standing here with uh, Joel Melin. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, a few years ago we had uh, an interesting experience in Israel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very interesting experience. Yes, and long story short, we were actually uh, taken to a prison. They denied us entry. You have e you had actually received uh, access. You have you had you had entered already. Yeah, but they then got they, the yeah, they I got the visa. You, but then they called you back. Yes. And uh, and then what happened? Yeah, then they put uh, me in the cell in mm -hmm. the yeah police house for three days. Mm -hmm. I was imprisoned in that cell. Mm -hmm. And uh, and how did you feel? I felt uh, very depressed. Mm. They didn't treat me well, mm. and they took all my necessities from me. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't allowed to have my Bible, for mm. example, uh, not my personal belongings, mm. not even a blanket for the night. You mm. know, the only blanket that was there in the cell was dirty, mm. used by I don't know how mm. many before me, but yeah, mm. and uh, not enough food, not enough water. Mm. Yeah, I remember that, and I. I felt as if they made difference between people because there was actually a converted Jew in there and he was allowed to bring his Jewish writings in there. They didn't like him because he was converted, I guess, but uh, they allowed certain things. He got certain privileges. Mm -hmm. And me too, I, I, I asked them uh, if I could bring my medicines, uh, my Bible and other things, and they said no. After I had been talking with them, I got a few things in, a few of my medicines, but not all and far from all. So it, for me, it was also a really, really difficult time. Uh, one of the hardest experiences I have had in my life, I have to say. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, what have you personally learned from this experience? Yeah, I have learned to rely upon God. Mm. That is my personal savior, that he mm. is able to uh, protect me in every kind of situation. And I have also learned patience. Mm course sitting there you know uh, you had nothing you had mm. only a bed mm. nothing more and you didn't know how long time it would take to come mm -hmm. out of this cell and every minute was like mm. one hour and every hour was like one day yes and every day was more or less like one month you know mm. when did you see at what point did you see some hope because you, you, you mentioned that this you felt really depressed, really down. At what point did you, could you see a light glimpse and that would help you personally? Yeah, when I took out my Bible. So you actually had your Bible? Well, I didn't have it from the beginning, but mm. I was able, when I got a blanket yeah. from downstairs, I was able to get a blanket. They said, okay, it's fine mm. after one mm. night, mm -hmm. finally then. I managed to put my Bible inside a blanket mm. from my uh, luggage. Mm. So yeah, and I I remember that day. That was the first after the first night, uh, sleepless night. And I remember when you showed me your Bible. I have never before been so happy to see a Bible, <laughs> and it was a joy to read from Paul when he was imprisoned uh, and when he was writing to the Philippians, for instance. I read a letter, and it was very encouraging to me as well. Mm. Yeah, and then we. For me also, another point was that when I, when we met some people there, that we had some good conversations, we could be able to share our faith and comfort them uh, in their situation. And for me, that's really brightened up uh, my, my, my day, my stay there. Mm. Then I really felt that uh, God could use me still and that I, that I could be, uh, yeah, that, that there was hope that God really had everything under control. Now, uh, recently, what what is what has been taking place? As because this is not over yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. A trial has started. Uh, will take place. Uh, I have to go to the court. Mm. Probably uh, this year now, in November, December. I don't have ex the exact date mm. right now, but. Uh, for other people's sake, uh, I took it to the court uh, that mm. it might not happen again. And also for myself, of course, because I lost mm. a lot of things. 
mm. and uh, I have a bad reputation also yes. just after this because people of course thought that I had done something bad. Mm. It was and a lot up in media at that time. Yes, it was. And um, I have just gathered proof mm. and uh, have contacted a lawyer and uh, it has been taken out to the court and uh, mm. something will happen there now. I have to go travel to Israel. Uh, and it definitely it has caused some damage, not only financially, but uh, <laughs> I know for me, I've had many nightmares since about that experience. Yes. It's really influenced me and even unconsciously. Mm. Uh, and that I understand that as I still sometimes have dreams, now even more than two years later, uh, about this horrible experience. And for me, one of the worst things was that they took away our freedom. Mm. And also, that how they treated us. Yes. How did you feel? Very harshly. Yeah. Screaming and mm -hmm. uh, didn't listen when we wanted to um, get in contact with them and ask for water, mm. etc. They just mm. ignored us. Mm. So you um, you didn't get so much food, right? No, um, especially the last day we mm. got, for example, only a small baguette in, in the morning. And uh, that's it. Mm. We asked for more food, we asked for water, but mm. we didn't get any water mm. that day. So most of the times when we try to get their attention, then... Yes, then they just didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. the first 26 hours we fasted almost uh, 26 yeah, yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was very hungry, I had pain all over my body and I <laughs> didn't know where this would end, if they would accuse us for something or... Cause they they wouldn't really cooperate with us. Mm, yeah, and they it was didn't like that the whole time. They wouldn't inform about our rights from when we arrived, as they actually are. Ob yeah, they didn't they inform us to. about that we mm. had a right to have a lawyer within yes. uh, 24 hours, for example, mm -hmm. as well, which uh, is something that mm. they have to do. Mm -hmm. So, how do you uh, look upon this trial coming up? Um, I looking upon it uh, in faith that. Uh, I know that I have done nothing wrong mm. and uh, that God will be with me, mm. whatever happens. And um, so even if I will lose it of some reason, uh, then it might, I might lose it because if the r system there in Israel is not so safe the, mm. that they don't have uh, the good judges as, I mean, they should be. Mm. Um, then I might lose it, but anyway, I know that God will be with me, so mm. I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. But I, I think that with the proof that I have, it should go well. Mm. And you mentioned also that you are doing this partly because uh, you want to try to prevent this happening for others. Yes, exactly, because if they have to uh, now uh, pay amount, uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, a little bit damaging for them, also their reputation for them, and mm. also that they have to pay some uh, money. Mm. Maybe at least that they will learn. It's yeah. not sure, of course, but hopefully they uh, will mm. learn. And I talked to uh, another colleague here of mine that uh, he is actually Jew, and uh, his parents, they are from Israel, he's there o very often, and uh, mm. he knows this problem that uh, the border police is not so uh, nice to deal with always and he mm. said I really hope for you he said that yeah, yeah. it would be good and that they will learn their lesson yeah because they, yeah. he said that the people there in Israel they are very nice actually so mm. and I really believe that because we were supposed to stay by many of them yes. we had a uh, place to stay at mm. Israeli people and they were nice and mm. the two of them will also witness for me mm. yeah uh, so yeah so we actually, there are s quite some good witnesses in this yes, trial. Yes, yeah, there are. Uh, mm. Two of them will come to court directly mm -hmm. and give their testimony mm. in my favor. So uh, I'm looking forward to that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do you have any uh, final words you would like to say? Yeah, that uh, if uh, people um, have the wish to pray for me, they can do that because mm. I think it's needed with prayer. and. Um, I'm just looking forward to do this for uh, people's sake and uh, mm. that God will bless it. Okay, thank you. Thank you.